Fellas, there's only one thing that the streets wanted more than ASON headphones, and that's Counter Strike 2. And that's what we got here. So why don't we take a look? Are you guys ready for a new Counter Strike? Because I am. Why don't we go ahead and react to this blog post? First, let me tell you, okay? I'm gonna cut the trap, cut the trim the fat, cut the trap. Go follow CSGO on Twitter, Counter Strike Now, new app, by the way. This is where this is where everything happens first on Twitter. So this is where the release happened, all the info. This is for people who are on YouTube who don't know how to get into the counter where the sinister of Counter Strike is. It's right here on Twitter. So Counter Strike Two announcement was here two hours ago. I'm gonna upload this as soon as possible, and then here's the blog post. So why don't we just live react to it? Okay, uh, you know the excitement is is obviously still very much alive right now. It's actually so much. There's pimp is crying on Twitter right now. Do you want to see that? I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm literally going to. He changes that to CS2. I hope this means that I get to to do this for another 15 years. I I can teach you guys the name. Hey. He's out here crying because Counter Strike Two. Okay, look, this is so it's so unreal. It's so unreal. There's some leaks recently when this was coming, but it's so unreal. They've rebranded now. It's just I think they've just trademarked this, and they're using this as the logo. Counter Strike Two is the official name of this. Of course, I just did the math in my last video on how why this would be called Counter Strike Two, but it's real. It's here. It's an upgrade to Counter Strike CS:GO. It is, I think, the same game where like you're gonna have the same skins and everything like that. There's a beta that's been released along with Counter Strike Two, so that you and a few people that are in a limited test, and I haven't even checked if I'm in it, are going to be able to play and check out Counter Strike Two. Here's the blog post. Let's start reading. The next era of Counter-Strike begins this summer. Counter-Strike 2 is the largest technical leap forward in Counter-Strike history, ensuring new features and new updates for years to come. All the game's new features will be released when it officially launches this summer, but the road to Counter-Strike 2 officially begins today as a limited test for select CSGO players. During this testing period, we'll be evaluating a subset of features to shake out any issues before the worldwide release. They said this limited test is based on your uh, your Steam, your, 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 uh, your, 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 your your good your standing and your out recent hours counter strike gameplay time and things like that and th i think you get a notification in your main menu during this testing period we'll be evaluating a subset of features to shake out any issues before the worldwide release um counter strike csgo was released in 2012 it has been 10 years of course that's the longest that any iteration of counter strike has been i think source came out in, what 2007 to 2012 that was running counter strike 1.6 was from 2002 to 2006 one and before that you know just a few four or five years so very much the longest the game has been out we have been we've been in the sahara waiting for our flask of water and this is what we got a waterfall okay okay so i'm trying to contain myself here it arrives as a free upgrade to csgo so build out your loadout, hone your skills, prepare yourself for what's next. Read more about the Counter-Strike 2. Okay, let's go ahead and watch these videos. Okay, we've got responsive smokes. This is a change. So again, people who are not understanding here, they've remade what appears to be remade all the maps, and they are introducing some new features that will be here and built on the Source 2 engine. So it's Counter-Strike before it was on the Source 1 engine. Now it's upgraded to the Source 2 engine. Dota 2 was moved to the Source 2 engine many years ago. The Source 2 engine came out in like 2015. Now we're finally getting this upgrade, but it's substantial with all these changes. So let's take a look at how they've changed smokes because it's something that a lot of people have been talking about. In a Counter-Strike match, information can mean the difference between success or failure. As a result, smoke grenades have become a cornerstone of team tactics. With Counter-Strike 2's new game engine, we've evolved smokes and made them dynamic. Smoke grenade... I'd just like to say this is a... Smoke this is a flawed exec. Okay, we don't need this many smokes on the exec. We're trying way too hard. Look how big these smokes are. What's going on here? Smoke grenades now create volumetric 3D objects that live in the world. Now, not only do all players see the same smoke regard They're also taller, right? The position, but the smoke can interact with the environment in interesting ways. It reacts to lighting. Grows to fill spaces naturally. Okay. The shape of the okay. Can be pushed and carved by bullets. No. And by bullets Stop. And no. By Guys, no. I'm sorry. This is the worst player I've ever... Okay, hold on. Is this on YouTube? Please. Let me watch it on YouTube. Okay. 
Let me just watch this on YouTube. In Counter Strike 2, smoke grenades provide heat and grenades. In Counter Strike, no. Can be pushed and no, dude. What are we watching here? You shoot through the smoke and you can see through the smoke. That means on its face, there's gonna be stuff that changes. I'm just reacting, live reacting, okay? This means that you can use ammo as a way to see through a smoke when before you could see around a smoke, you could, they, people were using Molotovs to do bug smoke so you could see them, so you could see things behind them. Oh my God, you can get rid of a smoke with an HE. This adds a dimension to the HE, the $300 grenade that was only made valuable in 2018 by Astralis that showed us how HEs could actually be as impactful as any other piece of utility before just an overpriced piece of junk that did a little damage but didn't do much else. Now it can actually extinguish the smoke for a second for an op shot. Monacy is watching this drooling. Encounter this is crazy. Strike two. Smoke grenades provide even more tactical opportunities. They're just going to look and play better. No. Hold on. Yo. Okay, listen, there's gonna be some visual upgrades here. I like that we're actually st taking a step away from realism. I know people are like, oh, this is like Valorant. I don't give a shit. I want this to be, I love that there is, I love that they're just leaning into what looks good. Also already we're seeing maps are a lot more vibrant. Visibility is looking very good on these maps so far. What was going on with the Molly right there? Did you see that? Yo, so you can use a Molly this looks like you could use a molly to cross doors or something. If this is the last piece of utility you have with the ex explosion that comes with it. That's just bananas. All right, let's keep going. That's uh, on his face insane. What's what's happening here? There's a lot, especially the smoke's taking up, like responding to the amount of volume available in an area and then filling up the rest of it. Like the um, how dynamic the game is going to be based on that. It's going to be overwhelming, right? It's going to be overwhelming because there's so many ways that you can use smokes. It's going to be very hard to lock down the game in a static sense of like, this is what we expect out of a smoke. This is what we're going to use. There's going to be new smokes every single day, which is going to force kind of that mid-round, mid-game creativity, right? The thing that Magnus Carlsen talks about in chess, he hates the how the opening theory has dominated chess. Well, now in chess, this is all who knows, but in chess, you know, he waits for the mid game. That's where he shines because that's when you're playing a brand new game of chess. And that's where he feels like he is, he's showing up. Now we're going to have to see people adapt on the fly. The preparedness that comes into games is going to be one thing, but you're not gonna be able to prepare for everything. This is ridiculous. Okay, smoke game is not dynamic. Volumetric objects that interact with the environment react to lighting, gunfire, and explosions. Smoke has now the ability to interact with other gameplay elements, creating opportunities, bullets, HE grenades can push smoke briefly, clear sight lines, and expand occlusion. Oh my God. Expands to fill spaces naturally. Now the smoke can be, will seep out of an open doorway, broken windows, or go down, oh, go down and upstairs as well as expanded along corridors combined with other smokes and combined with other smokes. Oh my God. You could actually make like a, like a, what's the, what's the, in Apex Legends, there's that chick who can do like a lot, like she throws three smokes at once and creates a line. So if you're in a field, you can run behind. It's like Bahara or something. What's her, what's her uh, name? Bangalore. So close with the Bahara, I guess. But anyways, I don't know why that's, why we need that. Anyway. React to lighting in Counter-Strike 2, smoke particle. I say we don't need that because we have enough cover, right? I mean, we don't need to have, there's no way open fields. Okay, reacts to lighting, Counter-Strike 2, smoke particles work with the unified lighting system allow for more realistic. I'm so pumped for the lighting in Source 2. We get, this is the biggest upgrade, I feel like, in terms of maximum future potential where people are going to be like leaning into how much they can do with lighting on maps. It's going to be beautiful. I'm sure of it. It's going to be freaking beautiful. Okay, what's this? Moving beyond tick rate. What you see is what you get. Tick rate no longer matters for moving, shooting, or throwing. Tick rate no longer matters for moving, shooting, or throwing. Okay, why I'm reading this immediately. Movement stuff, okay? Bunny hopping, air strafing. Some people don't understand this, but in 128 tick, people always argued about whether or not uh, tick rate is relevant when it comes to bunny hopping on 128 versus 64. I think the, not the consensus, but the vast majority of like movement players understand that, understand how this works as chaining bunny hops in long succession for whatever reason feels easier on 64 tick. Hitting your first bunny hop feels a little bit better on 128. 
but that's just, you know, anecdotally speaking. Um, when it comes to other small things, for example, when you throw grenades, uh, you have to, on 64 tick, your, your grenades don't go as high, I believe, so you have to aim higher for them to land in the same spot. On 128 tick, they will obviously go farther. And uh, think there are small little things like clip brushes, for example, are harder to stand on on 64 tick. You're more easily to slip off. These are very nuanced, more advanced things that movement players understand about Counter-Strike. Doors open faster on 64 tick. Um, really small, different things like that. But it creates a little lot of differences. Now, this subtext system that we're talking about, okay, this is saying that there's not going to be ticks, essentially. Um Okay, let's read this. Sub-tick updates the heart of Counter-Strike 2. Previously, the server only evaluated the world in discrete time intervals called ticks. Thanks to Counter-Strike 2 sub-tick update architecture, servers know exact instant that the motion starts, a shot is fired, or a nade is thrown. Okay? Just seems like it's saying that it's more reliable now. As a result, regardless of your tick rate, your moving and shooting will be equally responsive and your grain will always land in the same way. I don't know how this works, but I'm excited for that because like, that's what I was wondering. If it's dynamic tick rates well doesn't that mean nades will go all over the place we'll see okay so now the next thing is i don't know how this affects shooting in terms of well i guess just your bullets land where maybe more often where you expect them to land it was very very reliable before maybe now it's just perfect maybe it has to do with how about how reliable these things are with ping that's a big thing that counter-strike has always been very good at is high ping games being having reliable uh, games on high ping games. Sorry, having reliable, I'm so excited right now, sorry. Having reliable gunfire on high ping games. Now the thing is that on 64 tick, one of the biggest issues with 64 tick was that if you had a high ping on 64 tick, your aim and everything, your spray was so much worse. That's something we all understood. Uh, but it was actually the ping, right? 64 tick itself, it's still, what, 64 updates a second? It's it's a ton of information, and it's usually correct and everything, but you really felt it when there was a lot of ping. I think there was a good video done on that, maybe by Three Clicks Philip at one point. Okay, so throwing grenades, yeah, so let's see how that works. Counter-Strike is no. And I'm just going to visceral... quickly do this because... Oh, the blood looks so cool. Look how vibrant Mirage. Maybe there's hope for Mirage. Oh, that looks like a no-recoil deagle, honestly. Did that look like a no-recoil deagle? Nice peak, though, right there. Sometimes those milliseconds between click and tick could be the difference between landing or missing your shot. That's why with Counter Strike 2, we're introducing sub tick updates. Now the All these guys look so intelligent. Like, this is certainly going to be the most reliable system. You can feel it. Jumped your jump or peaked your peak, and the server will calculate your precise actions between ticks. Italy, baby. Italy and Source 2? Whoa, 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 what was that on the radar? What was that? What you see is what you get. What's this inner circle on the radar? What are we noticing right here? It's not here, though. Is that your audible distance? Because right there, you're not moving. Oh, it is. Oh my God, it is, isn't it? Is that your audible distance? That's your gunfire. Why is there a smaller circle? Range that enemy was spotted, maybe? Because it's just outside. And then you have maybe audible distance. But not moving, it doesn't show up here. Sorry, this is just... Everything's just freaking me out right now. I'm just stressed. I'm just stressed. I'm pumped and stressed. Any Easter eggs? No. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, uh, okay. Leveling up the world. 
Cleaner, clearer, brighter, better. You can see that already. Upgrades and overhaul maps are cleaner, brighter, and better. We want cleaner and brighter, okay? Um, Magisk talked to me about this at Blast, and he said, well, if there's a source to upgrade, you know, what do we want? Want brighter maps. He liked Anubis, the idea that the map is brighter. People say Valorant, Valorant, Valorant. Ultimately, this is just something that we need. We don't want to have to go into your NVIDIA settings and crank it to 100% um, a saturation. Why should it be like that? Why shouldn't it just be vibrant enough right away for visibility's sake. This is just really good. And he's like, I don't like being in my cave in my room and then the maps are already dark and stuff. Oh my God. Remember when every time there was a new upgrade to a CSGO map, holy shit, just visually, it just looks like, yeah, I can't even look at this anymore. Like, look how old this looks now. Holy hell. Oh my God. You sh we should be excited. This is crazy. I mean, I don't care. I don't care if the game sucks at this point. It's beautiful. All right. With over 20 years of history, oh, this one's going to be epic. You know when they do that. When they go back 20 years. You know it's going to be good. Pillar of Counter -Strike. And in Counter -Strike, Anytime someone says pillar, you know it's about to be an epic sentence. Too, maps are getting a new look. But don't worry. You can still bring along your countless hours honing strategies and exploiting every corner. And Whoa, look at that. That new AK. Is that a skin that's already exists? All right, look at the glove. Oh, our skins, man. What are our skins gonna look like? We took three approaches to improving maps while retaining their rich legacy. First, there are touchstone maps, classic maps. Oh, that looks so beautiful. It's like refreshing. To evaluate gameplay changes from CS:GO to Counter-Strike 2. These have improved train character, but other train Hold on. We took three approaches to improving maps while retaining their rich legacy. First, there are touchstone maps. Classic maps with solid foundations that players can use to evaluate gameplay changes from CSGO to counter Okay, okay. I like that. Oh my god, train, man! Oh, okay. Well, that looks different, though. I mean, it's still different. It's still built again in Source 2, right? Oh my god, what the f... Bro, what's happening? This looks like the Blender render. That's my like my counter, my my background, man. Excuse this. I have to make sure I don't have any boxer stuff on my desktop. One second. Just gonna delete that here. Just gonna move something. I just wanted to show my what my background is. Sorry, this is becoming a really bad video now. I've got a few seconds, and I'm just gonna do. Quickly, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna take me. Boom! Look at this is my blender background. That's what the freaking thing looks like. You know what I mean? Sorry, I didn't need to do that. To look at this. Source two lighting, including a physically based rendering system that produces realistic materials, lighting, and reflections. Oh my God! I've never seen a swamp I wanted to jump in more than this. And finally, overhauls. Italy may oh look at that the graffiti oh my god look at that that's so sick oh. okay let's see if nose flashes still work these tools will be available for community map makers to make it easier to build experiment and wow with upgrades to lighting player read and materials and counterpoint <laughs> Even the <laughs> I'm about to cry. That's the same outro it looks like. Oh my god. Dude, what the f Cleaner, brighter, better. Okay. Lower tunnels. Oh my god, we can look at all of them. Why don't we? Jesus. I mean, it's night. Literally? Night? And day, right? Do we have to say anything else? Bro, it's like, and it's just, it's like you look at this and you think, how could it have ever been this? What else do you need to say? Gaming, this is the, fir the first time in history gaming might actually cure depression. This is depression. This is happiness. You know, in the meme, when the guy looks at one wall and looks at the other, it's literally this. I got to tweet that. Okay. 
Uh, these are maps that are using source two lighting. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. So these are the full overhaul maps. Oh, full overhaul. Okay. Okay. And then source two lighting, dude, this white is just cream, this cream silo. I'm not even scared of the nuclear threat that's involved in this a site anymore because of how just gorgeous and inviting that looks, man. Nuke, new nuke looks so fantastic. And then for this, it's just like, it, or it makes new, old nuke look archaic. How? Am I overreacting? No, I don't care what you think. Sorry, I love you. I'm just joking. I just don't. How How could you? This is a before and after, but it's actually not. It's not, it's not an edited before. It's not a guy. You know, it's not the guy who's like a little 20 pounds heavier than he wanted to be looking sad in the dark as the before picture into... The after picture with the high HDR outside on the beach, squeezing his abs in, you know, lost 15 pounds of water weight. No, this is, this is actually the happier person right here. Legitimately from the inside out. Wow. And even just small visual up, everything is just easier to see. Of course, they can cherry pick all the, you know, things that they want to look at. We'll get to see the full maps, obviously, but... It's looking good, Brev. Touchstone maps. Okay, classic maps. So wait, Dust 2. Dust 2 is going to be a CS2 map. Dust 3? Wow. Oh, this just looks so good. I love the tiling there. Reminds me of the Flintstones. Okay. Oh my God. How did this? How did they make this look like they got a technological upgrade on Dust 2? Do you know what I'm saying? The lighting here is unbelievable. Okay. Character read. Okay. Mid doors. Wow. I'm picking mid every round. I'm picking mid every round. I'm no longer picking my nose. I'm picking mid. The source to tools. Ooh, tools. Rendering features upgrade available community. Uh, your items in a new whole light. Oh, your, bring your entire CSGO inventory with you to CS2. Not only will you keep every item you collected over the years, but they'll all benefit from source to lighting and material. <laughs> In addition to supporting legacy models and finishes, all stock weapons have been upgraded with high resolution models and some weapon finishes to take advantage of these new models. No way. I got to watch this GIF again. What's in here? Oh man, fade knives. All the, oh my, I have an x-ray. I have an x-ray and they displayed it. First thing they displayed it. I have a cybersecurity. Oh my goodness. No one's going to buy Thomas's though. Like, let's be real. Okay. Um, high def VFX from UI to gameplay. All visual effects have been reimagined. All the visual effects have been updated in Counter-Strike 2. Oh, look at that blood. That looks like Bloodborne blood. That's like you killed a Bloodstar beast. What's that? All visual, okay, with Source 2 lighting particle systems, new look, behavior, water explosion, fire, muzzle flashes, bullet traces, impact, damn. I might have to switch back to native. I switched to 1280 by 960 just because of simple. <clears throat> Not proud to admit it, but I might have to switch back for this, man, honestly. Gameplay visuals, Counter-Strike 2, most critical gameplay visuals have been redesigned, rehabilitated. My bullet impacts me, easily viewed at a distance. Directional blood impacts fade over time, give you more information as you move throughout the world. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Sorry, I read that without thinking about it. Okay, bullet impacts can be easily viewed at a distance and directional blood impacts that fade over time give you more information as you move throughout the world. Okay, what the hell? Wow. I mean, I'm clearing decals still, right? Who's clearing decals in 2023? Environmental effects, experience completely reauthored explosions, fire, C4 lighting, and more. Leverage source random amount of holy crap look at that whoa the lighting from the bomb taking nap damn dude these are so cool like everything looks so oh look at that molly baby i would drink out of that like all these things are normally supposed to be horrifying in counter-strike and i just want to put them in my mouth honestly don't know how else to say that who said that i didn't say that ui enhancements the ui counter-strike 2 has got a visual oh it's never felt so good to get ge get that for the 19th time what's this oh an ace you get a little thing for the ace. But do we get the ascending things that in Valorant? That's actually a nice. Do, 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 do. You know, when it doesn't, that's not what it does. But not only these improvements look nice, they also communicate important. Okay. Accurate audio. 
reworked, rebalanced, reverbed. Counter Strike 2 sounds have been. Re First of all, this blog is fucking incredible. I love this. This is beautiful. So I'd just like to say that straight off. Counter Strike 2 sounds have been reworked to reflect the physical environment more distinct. Man, honestly, my ASON headphones are working incredibly well already in Counter Strike 1. In Counter Strike 2, I'm going to be able to hear people on different maps. All right. I'm going to be on Inferno listening to Long on Dust 2 with accurate audio with my ASON headphones. So thank you so much, ASON.io, for have me be your brand ambassador <laughs> yeah great sorry anyways back to the video uh they help re uh rebalance more comfortable listening experience wow there's more to come limited test value okay man okay this is just unreal guys what can we say besides i, I want to cry too i want to be just like pimp right now it's the first time i've ever said that this is something extraordinary it looks amazing i always get excited about new stuff we all do when it comes to updates in Counter-Strike, but this is truly like, this is the expectations have been, it's fridge gift, but there's it's full of food now. Like this is what we wanted and it's happened. We got Counter-Strike 2, the clean new name. We got the upgrade to the Source 2 engine. It's no longer the game made by Hidden Path with the spaghetti code that's gotten all these patchwork upgrades and band-aid fixes to different problems we've had. We've got the game that we've been waiting for. I feel so alive right now. <laughs> this is like incredible. Um, like, I am i don't know how, you know, how rough around the edge is going to be to play. It's a very competitive game. So there's going to be things that need to be changed, but who cares? You know, the game, if we can, if you can save Counter-Strike CSGO that was made by Hidden Path in 2012 and fixed all the way to like maybe 2018, 2019, when people really stopped complaining as much about little small things, like it fixed the hitboxes, a lot of movement stuff, like the maps got changed and updated, like balance and everything was really good by that time. If that can be done to CSGO, what can be done to CS? Two, which is made by Valve from the engine up on, and with all the understandings that they have already and knowledge they've had from CSGO and the team that they've had working on CSGO this entire time. Who knows? The sky's the limit. This is just beautiful. It's incredible. I'm so happy as a content creator. I'm so happy as a Counter-Strike fan. <laughs> this is my life. This is what I love more than anything else. So I'm going to make every single move. You know, I got known on YouTube and in Counter-Strike for making movement tutorials, right? Bunny hop tutorial, hut to window tutorial, uh, inferno, balcony jump, uh, freaking, you know, cash mid boost, like all these different bunny hop. I made the first bunny hop tutorial in CSGO, first air strafe tutorial, made all that. I'm going to do them all again in source two. And we're going to look for bugs. And the other thing that I'm really excited about that people, you know, only the nerds really understand at this point is that we want this new engine because we want new bugs. Bugs are the reason we have bunny hopping, air strafing. Air strafing was a mistake. It was something that get kept in because it was actually made the games better. I think all the way since like Alien vs. Predator, whatever the game was where it first kind of was found in, keeping it in was a decision, but finding it, it was found as a bug and it wasn't intended. And we don't want massive bugs. The massive bugs will get removed and fixed and patched out. But there are little bugs that are going to make movement more interesting, the game a little bit harder, uh, more rewarding to learn. It's going to make KZ better. And then we're going to have maps that are going to be beautiful and like, Demo viewing, I don't even know about demo viewing in this. Like maybe I'll want to do demos again. Like everything's just refreshed, it's renewed. I feel like I've just fallen back into a vat of nesty. You know what I mean? I'm just feeling so great right now. Wow, okay, well, that's just video number one, okay? Of Counter-Strike 2. Everybody, let's have a drink, okay? Let's celebrate, this is a big day. It's coming out in the summer, so we'll all get to play it then. Hopefully I'll be able to make some content before then about this, but like now I've got something else to look forward to and this is just wonderful, so. Let's 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 really ride this one out, okay? Let's do a lot on this channel on YouTube um, as fans. Let's make the community proud. Let's make us proud in the landscape of all games. You know, when I think about being like the best YouTuber or commentator or whatever, it, all of that comes second to making my game proud. And now I feel like th this is more reason to make my game proud. You know, they've given me something. They've given us something, and I really just want to like do it for the game because. Counter-Strike has given me so much. So that's always been my drive. And now I just feel like I'm just, you know, I'm going at 100 miles per hour. So let's let's go. This is this is awesome, you know. And I'm sure everything I've said so far has been relatable. Anybody who's invested there, you know, thousands of hours into this game, you're feeling the same way as me, I'm sure of it. So to all of us, cheers. Thank you so much, Counter-Strike. And let's go, Counter-Strike 2. Let's make the most of it.